There is an article that came out in The Athletic, and it has the whole NASCAR community in a buzz as there's some rumors going around about the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series schedule. Now let's break it down on the weekly rundown. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, give me your thoughts on this video. What do you think about these potential tracks joining the Cup Series schedule? Plus, give me any improvements I can make on the channel. This video is definitely a little bit long as I'm going really in depth into this article in The Athletic. I'm very passionate about the Cup Series schedule and where they go. All right, let's get right into this as there was an article that came out in The Athletic by Jordan Bianchi earlier today as I am recording this on May 9th. There has been talks over the last week, a little bit of rumors going through the industry. First of all, Jordan always does a great job. Everybody Athletic is so hardworking in the industry. Jordan goes more in depth with these track talks and even brings up a couple of things that was not known about before and the first track he mentions is mexico city i actually had a video lined up talking about mexico city but then this article came out today so i decided to delete that video and start from scratch so here we go mexico city known as autodromo hermanos rodriguez raced in the bush series in the mid 2000s they stopped racing there in 2008 this was always one of my favorite road courses to watch as a kid. Plus, I had NASCAR Racing Season 2003, and there's a lot of modders on NASCAR Racing Season 2003 if you've never played it. They put different tracks and different cars into the game. Someone put Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez into the game, and that was probably my favorite road course to race on NR 2003. It's a really great road course, and I think it's perfect for stock cars. And this track, the longer it's been around, the more legendary this track becomes. So the rumors that have been going around all week about Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez is that it could join the Cup Series schedule next year, replacing one of the two Richmond Raceway dates. And in this article, Jordan Bianchi pretty much doubles down on those rumors. This deal to add Mexico City to the Cup Series schedule in 2025 is not set in stone, but the confidence is high that they will get this deal done unless the talks fall through like last year with Circus Gilles Villeneuve. We'll talk more about Montreal, aka Circus Gilles Villeneuve, in a little bit. But let's get into the idea of NASCAR going international because I know this is a discussion point that splits a lot of the NASCAR fan base and NASCAR community. I think there is a good portion that want to go international, but at the same time, a lot of those people don't want to go to any more road courses. As asphalt ovals are very normal here in America, in every other country, asphalt ovals aren't really a thing. Of course, you have some asphalt ovals in Mexico and in Canada, and you're not going to be able to visit these ovals as they're not standard for the Cup Series. They do not hold the capacity that is needed for a Cup Series event. These facilities in Canada and in Mexico that have asphalt ovals would need to put multiple millions of dollars into these facilities just to have a shot at a cup series race so if nascar did go international it would have to be a road course and a lot of nascar fans aren't big on road courses they like their ovals and they rather just stay in america and go to ovals than go international to road courses personally i am on the side of them going international I think NASCAR needs to go international to a certain degree. I'm not talking about they need to have all these different races outside the country. One race on the schedule outside of the country I think would be great. Even if they made it an exhibition race like they did all those years ago in Japan, I think that would just be a great move. It's a really smart move. It gets international eyes on the sport. And selfishly, I kind of want NASCAR to go to the Thunderdome in Australia. That is an oval that's not in America, and it's almost like Texas World Speedway over there. I think that would be a great track for NASCAR to go to, if it's even raceable anymore. I'm not, I haven't checked up on that track in a while. 
Let me know in the comments what do you think of Thunderdome in Australia, if you know the racetrack that I'm talking about. So to finish up on Mexico City, I think it would be a great move for NASCAR to go to Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez, but at the same time, I do not want them to sacrifice too much to go international. And I'll get more into that a little bit later. While we're talking road courses, let's get to another road course, talking about Circuit of the Americas. Speedway Motorsports Incorporated signed a three-year lease deal with Coda Circuit of the Americas from 2021 to 2024. So that deal just ended this spring. So there was a question if Circuit of the Americas would return to the Cup Series schedule in 2025. Well, apparently the chairman of the racetrack, Bobby Epstein, is extremely confident that NASCAR will be returning to the road course in Texas next year. According to him, they will for sure be coming back in 2025. They are just trying to finalize a date. I think there's going to be some mix on this as well, just because it's a road course and a lot of NASCAR fans aren't big on road courses. Uh, we need to get past the two road courses a season thing. We need to have more than two road courses in the season. That's just my opinion. I don't think we should have like seven or eight crazy road courses, but like four or five during the year, I think is a good number to have. But unlike the international deal, which I think it's kind of 50-50, I think more people are down for Circuit of the Americas to come back as we've had great racing there every year that we've had a race there. Of course, we had that that massive rain in the first year, and that was that was pretty bad, but I'm not going to lie. It was entertaining. It just was a horrible race. So it sounds like Circuit of the Americas will make a return in 2025, and my thoughts on this are I, I really like Circuit of the Americas. It's a world-renowned raceway, and NASCAR should return there. It's great for stock cars. It provides great entertainment. They just need to figure out what to exactly do when it comes to the S's. Do you want to put turtles up? Do you want to put curbs up? I feel like that's the one thing they really need to figure out when it comes to Coda. Now we're on to the Clash. As the Clash will not be returning to the LA Coliseum next year, it sounds like. There's been a lot of discussions ever since the day after the Clash. There has been discussions. Where do they hold the Clash in 2025? There's been rumors, there's been talks throughout the last couple months. There was even some discussions about Dodger Stadium. In my opinion, that's a horrible idea. They should not do that. There was even talks about them going to Guadalajara and using one of their soccer stadiums in Mexico for the clash, which I think that's silly. And this article gives me the vibe that NASCAR is actually really struggling on finding a venue for the clash. And it's not a big surprise that they're having struggles finding a location for the Clash. As the Clash, first of all, it's an exhibition race. So they can get a little bit more creative. So they're asking all these different places that they usually wouldn't go to to do this event. Also, the time of the year the Clash is. There's only a certain amount of places that you could go where it's not way too cold to perform a NASCAR race. And over the last week, there's been a couple of rumors going around about this track possibly hosting the clash and that is bowman gray stadium i thought this would fall under the category of it potentially being too cold to host a race in february but this won't stop the rumors and the talks going around it and jordan goes into that a big talk throughout the industry right now is that that bowman gray does have the potential of hosting the clash next year i don't know what the likelihood would be of this but if they're willing to do it, I'm down. I think that could be pretty crazy. I think that could be a pretty good move. Because Bowman Gray should definitely, definitely not be a points race. The track is way too small. The capacity isn't that high. And the capacity thing is one of the big arguments on why Bowman Gray shouldn't host the Clash. But from my seat right now, it looks like the only two viable options for NASCAR for the Clash is go to Bowman Gray Stadium or return back to Daytona. Daytona was even brought up into this article as a possible replacement for the Clash for them to return to Daytona. I think a lot of drivers would like that. I know Dale Jr. would like that. He talks about that all the time. And I'm very iffy about them possibly going back to Daytona. I like Daytona, and I think Daytona is a good place for the Clash. But I kind of like what they're doing with the Clash right now, that they're getting really creative and just trying different things that they would never try, going to venues that wouldn't necessarily host a Cup Series points event. 
I don't know if I want them to do this stadium tour that got discussed not too long ago about them possibly going to different stadiums each year. I don't know if I'm for that. I think it'd be cool if they just went to maybe local short tracks. That might be cool. Yeah, this year they can go to Bowman Gray. Next year they can go to like Irwindale out in California or something, get real creative. I'm not sure what they do with the Clash, but I'm not for them going to Daytona, and I'm definitely not for them going back to the LA Coliseum. All right, let's go through these next three parts of Jordan Bianchi's article pretty quick as these are pretty minor and a lot of them were expected and there's also not a lot of information. Starting with the regular season finale, this one was pretty expected. This season in 2024, as some of you know, Daytona is not the regular season finale. This is mainly because of the way the schedule lines up and the Olympic break. So next year for 2025, it sounds like Daytona will return as the regular season finale, which was to be expected. I think Daytona is the most perfect place to end the regular season. It gives Daytona two great dates. You have the Daytona 500, and then you have them ending the regular season under the lights, all the drama going into that last race before the playoffs. Any driver that's outside that top 16 could potentially win and get themselves into the playoffs on that very last race. It's almost like a buzzer beater sort of scenario. Now on to the all-star race. And I guess this one's kind of expected as well. It sounds like North Wilkesboro will have the all-star race again next year in 2025. And I'm very iffy about this. I want Wilkesboro to be on the Cup Series schedule in one way or another. But I agree with Dale Jr. that North Wilkesboro needs to be a points race. Wilkesboro isn't officially back, in my opinion, until it gets a points race. The All-Star race is for money. But like I said, I want Wilkesboro on the schedule. So I'm very iffy about this. I really wish that Wilkesboro would become a points race. Then this last one will have the garage extremely happy. It will even have some fans really happy as well, as it sounds like NASCAR will stop the project when it comes to racing on Easter Sunday. Historically in NASCAR, they've always taken the Easter weekend off, and over the last couple of years, they've been trying something a little bit new. A lot of different sports play on different holidays. You have the NBA on Christmas. You have the NFL on Thanksgiving. So NASCAR was going to try Easter. And I think the big problem with them doing a race on Easter Easter is popular in all of America, but it's especially popular in the South. That's why at Richmond, you didn't see a packed house. That's why you saw at Bristol, you didn't really see a packed house except for the first year. Even the viewership wasn't necessarily the greatest. But if you asked me a week ago, I would have thought that NASCAR would be racing on Easter Sunday next year because it seems like NASCAR really wants this Easter Sunday thing to happen for them. But none of the drivers, none of the teams, no one wants to race on Easter. They want to be with their families at home. And I think NASCAR has finally realized that. So they've decided to not race on Easter next year. I'm not necessarily sure what this entails. Does that mean they're gonna take off the whole weekend? Are they gonna maybe race on Saturday night? I'm not sure. We'll have to figure that out when the schedule comes. Now let's move on to the discussion about the championship race. A lot of people might not be too happy about this one, but it sounds like Phoenix Raceway will return as the 2025 championship race. NASCAR is apparently very happy with the support they get from Phoenix Raceway, the city. They love going to the championship in Phoenix Raceway. And I, I live in Phoenix. Phoenix Raceway is a fantastic facility. I don't think I've been to a better racing facility other than Phoenix Raceway, but at the same time, the racing there is trash. It's trash. So a lot of people have been calling on Homestead Miami Speedway to try their best to get the finale back. And with all this talk about the fans wanting Homestead Miami Speedway to return, the city of Homestead actually held a council meeting apparently a few weeks ago where there was discussions of them attempting to get the finale back for 2026. So that makes it sound like 2025 is out of the question for them. Phoenix will probably get 2025, and we have a potential of going back to Homestead Miami Speedway in 2026. Now we're on to our other potential international date. That's Montreal, aka Circuit Gilles Villeneuve. NASCAR race for a couple years at Montreal. It's a great racetrack. It's honestly one of the most beautiful racetracks I've seen. 
And this road course actually produces great racing, but that's the thing. It's a road course. And it goes with my point earlier about Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez. A lot of fans do not want to keep on going to road courses. And like I mentioned, I'm down for four or five road courses, but I don't want us to overload with road courses because the image of NASCAR is driving ovals. That's what NASCAR is known for, not road course racing. But in this article about Circuit Gilles Villeneuve, it sounded like last year, as I mentioned earlier, that talks had fallen through when it came to the Montreal joining the 2024 schedule because it was originally supposed to be on this year's schedule. Talks fell through and that's how we got Iowa Speedway onto the schedule for this year. It sounds like there's a possibility that Circus Gilles Villeneuve could be on the 2025 schedule, but Jordan does not sound nearly as sure as he does about Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez. It sounds like most likely NASCAR is pursuing this for a 2026 NASCAR Cup Series date but there is still a potential it could end up on the 2025 schedule. And just to finish up on Montreal here, I would really like Montreal to be on the schedule, but I'm not a fan of them having two races internationally. In my opinion, NASCAR has to pick one or the other. Are we going to Mexico or are we going to Canada? I think you have to make that decision. And that leads me straight into my last track I will talk about. And we're not even necessarily talking about a track we are talking about Southern California in NASCAR. Like I mentioned earlier, the LA Coliseum will no longer be hosting the Bush Clash. So NASCAR have been really struggling to find a racetrack to go to in California. And this one honestly gets me a little upset, a little heated, I'm not gonna lie. Because in my opinion, NASCAR is in Southern California just twiddling their thumbs, not doing anything with this. Because they sold part of the property when it came to Auto Club. Then they sold even more of the property when it came to Auto Club Speedway. They started to tear it down and they've just paused. There hasn't been one bit of construction on that racetrack and that is just disappointing. If you ask me, they're never ever going to build that racetrack. I will put $1,000 on that right now. NASCAR is never building Auto Club Speedway. I would not be surprised here in around a year or two if we get an article saying NASCAR has sold the remaining property of Auto Club Speedway because it seems like they're not at all committed to building that racetrack. And they even know, and I've mentioned this before, if they build Auto Club Speedway, there's, it's just going to be so compact into that little area because of all the areas they've sold around the racetrack. There's honestly a big chance that the city and the neighborhood surrounding this potential racetrack won't even let it happen. The only real talks when it comes to California racing is Dodger Stadium. Come on, man. Come on. And this is where my one gripe is going to come with the international tracks. I'm going to talk about it right now. NASCAR and Ben Kennedy really want to go international, as do I. I want to go international as well. So you're saying next year we might go international not once, but two times, but we can't get a race in Southern California? Come on. You joking, right? And I think one of the things that makes me most upset about this is that, oh, there's just no viable options in Southern California. I don't know. There's no options. Of course, we have these local short tracks of Irwindale and Kern County and other places like that. Do they have the capacity to hold a NASCAR Cup Series race? No. No, they don't. Could they add some temporary stands? Yeah. But even if they did add these temporary stands and this and that, it still wouldn't quite be a facility worth of a Cup Series event. And I get that. I get that 100%. You're saying, NASCAR, that we're discussing going to Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez and Circus Gilles Villeneuve, two road courses, instead of going to Southern California where there hasn't even been any discussion about going to a road course in Southern California, when we have a world-renowned road course in California called Laguna Seca. I would like to give this disclaimer right now just to get it out of the way because I have a feeling I could potentially be flamed in the comments. I am well aware that Laguna Seca is not in Southern California. It's more of Central California. It's a decent drive from Los Angeles and Southern California, but I don't see anybody else giving any better options at all. 
I haven't heard one discussion about Laguna Seca. Would it be the best track for stock cars? Honestly, I'm not sure. I do not know how they would handle the corkscrew, but I would really like NASCAR to at least investigate and look into it. Laguna Seca is a world-renowned racetrack. You can go all around the world. People know all about Laguna Seca. And honestly, I am going to be completely furious if NASCAR go to both Circuit Gilles Villeneuve and Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez and don't go to Laguna Seca. If they don't go to California next year and have two international dates, that is just ridiculous. So overall, what I think about this is before NASCAR goes international, they should at least go to the West Coast because it, it's ridiculous. We only have two. Ra I live on the West Coast, so I it's a little more personable for me. We only have two tracks on the West Coast. We have Las Vegas Motor Speedway for two races, and we have Phoenix Raceway for two races. Of course, you have Portland for the Xfinity Series, but no one cares about that because that's not a great facility. And also, it's another road course. All right, let's, let's calm down so I can get my final thoughts. Overall, a lot of this article from The Athletic by Jordan Bianchi is about road courses potentially joining the NASCAR Cup Series schedule. I'm excited about the international talk, but I'm not down for an international race if it means we're sacrificing California. We need to have a race in Southern California. I'm happy with pretty much all the rest of these potential moves. I would be down for the clash for at least one year, them hosting it at Bowman Gray Stadium. And if it goes well, you can either keep it at Bowman Gray each year, or you can even put a spotlight on different local short tracks. I think that would be really cool as well for them to do. And yes, even though I'm in Phoenix, I would love for them to return the championship to Homestead Miami because it's just better racing. If you're going to do a one race championship instead of being a whole series of races, just one race to decide it all. Homestead Miami just makes the most sense. I do like that NASCAR is getting creative with their schedules because back in the day, it was the same schedule year in and year out, which has its positives and it has its negatives. The positives is for having the same schedule over and over again. A lot of these race fans and race teams kind of get into a routine. They know what to expect when it comes to the weather. They know what they're going to do that weekend. They're kind It's kind of like almost like muscle memory. And that's how the NASCAR Cup Series was for many years. But them trying new places, potentially even getting a rotation of tracks going on where they'll bring in a track for a couple of years, take it away, bring it back. If they're doing stuff like that, I'm, I'm all for it. It could be a little bit confusing, but I like them doing stuff a little bit different than they've done in the past. So now that we know some of the places they could potentially go, some of the places they could potentially leave, this weekend at some point I will be dropping a 2025 NASCAR Cup Series schedule prediction. I did do this last year. It was a little late. I'm going to do it a lot earlier this season because also it sounds like we could potentially get the schedule earlier than we've gotten it in the last couple of years. But I'll be going over in that schedule breakdown on what I think it could be Will we go international? How many short tracks are going to be on the schedule? What will the playoffs look like? All that and more. Expect that video this weekend, most likely on Sunday morning. But let me know in the comments, what do you think about this article in The Athletic? Like I mentioned, I will be putting the article in the description. What do you think about these potential additions to the Cup Series schedule? What tracks would you personally like to see to the schedule? Like me, I would like to see Laguna Seca. Is that a track you would like to see on the schedule? Let me know in the comments. Once again, I apologize for such a long video. This was a very important article and I really wanted to get in depth and talk with all of you about it. But if you stayed here this long, I appreciate you. You're the best. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, saying peace. We must have a race in California. I'm actually going to drop the mic here. Great.